Welcome to Freeport. I am Ubertino. <laughs> Uh, if you ask him nicely, you can hop on his shoulders and he'll give you a ride somewhere. That was today's terrible Uber joke. Hello, this is Yaw Weasel. This is a pocket PC. This is a real pocket PC. This is, in fact, my pocket PC of the era. To explain what a pocket PC is, uh, well, you can see there's like Windows Media Player, Internet Explorer, etc. Uh, I wonder if help will tell me a little bit more about it. No. <laughs> that's that's file explorer help. That's not really what I wanted. Let's let's not go too far into that and get all lost. A pocket PC is uh Windows's sort of answer to Palmos, uh, which is another thing that people don't remember anymore. Basically, it was uh, uh, powerful computers from, like, a, a decade before iPhone, and then everybody thought iPhone invented that concept uh, that fit in your pocket. So that's Pocket PC. Pocket PCs were very expensive, well, fairly expensive, and uh, there weren't a lot of games on them because they were really more uh, just... Pro productivity devices, but there were a few games, and one of them is Pocket EverQuest. Normally, I prefer to do this kind of thing on an emulator, but Pocket EverQuest doesn't work on an emulator, so I've dragged out my old Compaq iPack 3800, which uh, doesn't have a functioning battery at all, so things could go very dramatically weird here, but let's, uh, let's dive right in. Obviously, this is not going to be an online version of EverQuest, because it's for a Pocket PC that had no internet access. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. This is as far as I've gotten. Ooh, that's 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 very dark, but it's actually dark. Now, l since I'm doing this on a real device, I want to just mention it is so hard to capture screens. I, you know, I apologize. <laughs> I'm doing my best, and I think I'm doing pretty well. Okay, let's create a new character. Choose one of the four classes by using the buttons above. Assign your character's name. That's gonna be great. And difficulty. Uh, okay. So, the druid communes with nature to draw power from the natural world! <laughs> Speckled in chat asks, if it has no internet access, why does it have Internet Explorer? You can get... <laughs> the, the iPad in particular, it had these sleeves that you could put around it and you could get a Wi-Fi sleeve. The Boobs is a master of summoning and protection spells. Also, maybe called the Magician, but clearly the Boobs character. The warrior is a master of armed combat. He relies on brute strength rather than magic. The... <laughs> okay, good job, music. That was weird. <laughs> the wizard is a master at the arcane art of power magic, as opposed to magic... magic. Holy smokes, that's the icon from Naruto. What? Which which icon? Josh and Chat. Uh... He can cast deadly spells of power. Well, I'm obviously gonna go with the boobs magician. Uh, sign your character's name. This is very awkward. Boob... Boy... I think that's so low. Let me erase and see if I can- see if I can do better. Oh god, erases like one stroke at a time. Who made this interface? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Erase it all, please. Jeez. Boob... Boy, there we go. Boob boy, you can't read that. This is uh, this is not easy. But there's there's my character, Boob boy. Uh, I guess I'll go with difficulty normal. I don't know what to expect. Oh, there's boobs right in the foreground. Jesus Christ, they're like, they're they're just melons strapped to her chest. They're not shaped like breasts at all. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to EverQuest for the Pocket PC. This tutorial will help you get to know the game. Tap to continue. I can tap to continue. To move, tap the screen where you want your character to move. Great. You may hold the stylus down as your character... <laughs> so if I just click, you won't move towards it, but I have to hold the stylus down? That's really strange. Button 1 will invoke the Persona window. Oh, I don't want to be pressing the hardware buttons to do that. I hope I don't have to use that. Button 2 will invoke the options window, or you can set the volume, see the credits, or exit to character selection. Button 3 will bring a context-based tutorial. Oh, boy. 
Uh, on the bottom left-hand side of the main screen are four buttons. These buttons are spell gems, which you can customize to cast spells or use items such as health potions. See the Persona window for more information. Gr great. The Persona button will invoke one of the Persona four Persona windows. Okay, so that, I guess that's redundant with the hardware button, which is good, because I don't want to use the hardware buttons. <laughs> Uh, inventory, spellbook, quest log, and map. But, by the way, I don't want to use the hardware buttons because I'm not actually holding this device. I'm just letting it sit, and, uh, I would like to sort of stick with that style. The nearest target button always selects the nearest target to you, but that makes a lot of sense. The cycle target button cycles through visible targets. Fine. The health bar and mana bar. Great. Um, given how long and boring that tutorial was, I'm going to regret pressing keep showing tutorials, but let's press keep showing tutorials. Okay, show us your boobs, boobs. Here's boobs, hi! Or boob boy, rather. Uh, and here's a, the person. When you, oh God, when your character approaches an NPC, you wants to talk, a talk, but okay, so press the talk button to talk. Got it. Uh, talk. Welcome to Freeport. I am Ubertino. <laughs> He, if you, uh, if you ask him nicely, you can hop on his shoulders and he'll give you a ride somewhere. That was today's terrible Uber joke. The devout merchant of guild, merchant guildmaster of the fine traders and artisans of Freeport. You appear to be a hardy and brave boobs. You're just the sort that this fair city needs right now. <laughs> Where's the increased breast size button? <laughs> ask Josh in chat. If it is adventure and danger that you seek, it be, can be found right outside the city gates. Someone has raised an entire legion of Tarkovs. <laughs> what sort of a conversation is this? So, A, I presumably just got into town... So, I must have made my way through the Legion of Dark Elf Skeletons, and B, what sort of a person welcoming you to a town is like, well, if you want to go get killed, <laughs> go outside the gates, they'll kill you real good, like. They are all, they are roaming the area near the gates and attacking all who attempt to enter or exit the city. The Freeport Militia has all they can handle to keep the gates open for trade. Uh... Okay, great. So I guess we got in thanks to the Freeport Militia. I, it uses ending quotes and then continues talking. <laughs> Stop that! You can make quite a name for yourself if you could clear the area of these skeletons. Bring anything unusual that you find on the, cre of, on the creatures to me. Perhaps it will explain their presence. Great, thank you. Okie dokie. I love the complete absence of any sort of sound. Uh, let's click the Persona uh, win- Oh, God! <laughs> you have invoked the Persona windows! Why, why am I doing this in that guy's voice? You have invoked the Persona windows. There are four Persona windows. Inventory, spellbook, quest log, and map. You may select any of the windows by using the four buttons at the bottom of the screen. The game is paused while you're using any of the Persona windows, blah, blah, blah. Your experience and levels are shown in the top left uh, portion of the screen. Great, thank you. Your attribute icons and their values are listed here. Fine, so you have attributes like so many other RPGs. There are 18 attributes associated with each character class. To see the next six, tap the attribute page. So you have multiple pages of attributes, oh my god. See the meaning of an attribute icon, tap it. When the attribute value is displayed in green, there's a beneficial effect being applied to it when the attribute... Okay, fine, so when you have, like, items that affect your attributes. Okay, that's understandable. Jeez, uh, I just pressed out, let me get to the... Wow, these are some really intense tutorials. This is the inventory window. The window is used to equip items you've obtained. On the right side of the window are your next equipment slots for head, back, neck, arms, left index finger, chest, right index finger... Index fingers? Really? That's where we wear rings? Okay, melee weapon, waist shield, legs, and feet. The bottom of the window is a backpack. All the items you've obtained are in the backpack. Fine. We select an item. It's named blah, 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 blah. Uh, more information. Great. Thank you. The drop button lets you drop it. Oh, and it actually lands on the ground. And some of them you can't drop. To equip an item, drag. Fine. So Diablo-like. Uh, great. Thank you. To unequip an item, drag it into the backpack. Some items may be equipped in the gem slot to the left of the screen. Oh, right, because there were those buttons for gems. Uh, you may use the item by tapping in the gem slot during play mode. Go blah, 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 displayed near the bottom right corner of the inventory window. Keep an eye on encumbrance. Right, fine. Okay, thank you. So, my gold 
an encumbrance or oh this isn't the inventory window which is the inv no this is the inventory window isn't it yeah this is the inventory window is oh this this these must somehow be i don't um, uh that one encumber okay so that's encumbrance that's armor class and that's gold thanks so they're in the opposite order that you said thanks <laughs> Uh, and then we have, like, multiple pages of abilities. Good lord, nobody wants that. And I like the very Vista, or rather, Windows, what, 7? Windows, no, Vista, Vista-styled X button. No, XP, actually, styled X button there. <laughs> Will this game be 90% tutorials and 10% boobs? Asked Josh in chat. Yep, pretty much seeming that way. Doesn't seem like there's a lot I can do from here, because I don't have anything. Uh, okay, let's wander around a bit. Oh good, very slowly! That's what I wanted out of this game. Slow. God, it's so dark, too. Can I, like, turn up the brightness? <laughs> and just to be clear, I mean, it is clearer looking at the actual screen, but it's pretty dark. Like, it's- it's a dark game. <laughs> Why just the index finger, asks Specklad in chat. Uh, many games have individual slots for each phalange. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> when your character approaches sign- Okay, fine, we can look at signs. Great, thank you. <laughs> I For a second I thought it was saying that she was an sign or interesting item. No, I guess it's this. Academy of Arcane Science members only. Am I arcane or... Talk to Ubertino about work? Well, fine, screw you too. I don't want to just immediately go outside of town. <laughs> oh, I should maybe talk to people, though. And we got tool there. No, not that one. The other one. Oh, never mind. I'll get it. Okay, thanks. So glad I could help. Really wish the entire world was less dark. Would you happen to have a pint of ale? Oh, boy, I, I regret talking to all of these characters. Can I, like, save? Is that a thing I can do? Uh... Maybe here? No. <laughs> there, There is no saving. Is this volume or something? What is this? Yeah, max volume, since you can't be bothered to actually play any sounds anyway. I'm not gonna really regret that. <laughs> You're looking for Majesto? Majesto! Am I looking for Majesto? You have to beat the game in one sitting, suggests Specklad, which makes it rather strange that you have save slots in the first place. What do you mean? How do you get the- how did I get this job? My Uncle Lucan got it for me. Why am I- Magical appearing trees! It's gone! It's back! Like, sometimes they make foreground items disappear so that if you're behind them, then you don't get obstructed. But this one appears just to obstruct you! <laughs> 10 out of 10 game design right there. You run into trouble out there, run back here to the gate. So far we've been able to keep the undead from actually entering town so far. So this is the gates, I guess. Uh... Okay, I guess... I'll just go outside. Uh, well, okay, thanks, great. Target's health bar... Right, so we can... Okay, color icon to target's relative strength to you. That's an important thing to remember. It doesn't say what color means what, so that's really helpful. It's just some color means something. It's the, the relative strength. Okay, it, it's more color if it's the... Uh. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Green represents the easy, white represents an even, yellow is hard, red is very hard, fine. Uh, automatically attack any target within your melee range when you're selected melee weapon. I don't seem to have any magic in spite of being a magician. Okay, that's red, so that's not ideal. Just drag him into town. Nope, he doesn't want to come to town. I'm instantly healed! Uh, so this is like a log, I guess, of all of the things that have happened here? Can I, like, use spells? This is the spell book. All your spells and special abilities are listed here. To cast a spell, you must first equip it to one of the four gem slots, of course. Uh, Dragon spell book onto the desired gem slot. Okay. Uh, okay, we get spell upgrades from levels. When a spell is unable to... <laughs> Popple in chat says, he loves that they're not just skeletons, they're dark elf skeletons. Yeah, we have to be specific. Let's let's know what kind of skeletons we're killing here. A spell is able to be upgraded to its next rank. The upgrade spell button will become active. Fine. 
Uh, so what what spells have I got? Uh, air elemental one. Does that like summon an air elemental? Freeze. Uh, earth elemental one. Minor shielding. Fire elemental one. Regeneration. That would be nice. Water elemental one. Resist elements. I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. So I drag them to one of the gem slots. Let's have shielding. Hey, there we go. And regeneration. And uh, what? Well, these two are red. So I assume. Oh, level required for. Okay, so I'll be able to get those if I'm. Well, but these. Like red must mean you can't do this, right? <laughs> Let's assume red means I can't do that. So let's let's get uh was I actually dragging that? Let's get fire elemental and let's get water elemental. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to use my actual spells given that I am a spellcaster. Shielding regeneration and then I'm out of mana. Great. <laughs> I mean, he's still red. I assume, yeah, I don't have enough mana to get either of my ele- Oh, yes I do! You've su- It is actually an elemental! Outstanding! You've summoned a pet! Yeah, it's a pet elemental. Uh, your pet is very loyal and will follow you wherever it can. Unfortunately, your pet adds its own agenda and will attack any monsters it sees. Pet's health bar and icon appear in the- uh, left- okay, fine. Okay, you go have fun off-screen. I can li since they can't pass the gate, I can just stand here. That's fabulous. I mean, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> he seems to be doing just fine, like, he's certainly surviving. I'll- I'll make more elementals, or I won't. I guess I can't. Is it a one elemental at a time system? Is that it? I don't, I don't, I don't seem to be summoning elementals. I think it's a one elemental at a time system. I mean, he's making some slow progress here. <laughs> Can we just, like, help? Cause it, so why is it showing in red? <laughs> it said that red is a hard enemy. That wasn't a hard enemy. <laughs> Whatever. Often a monster will drop an item on the ground and or have gold on its corpse to loot them, move over it, the looted item will appear in your backpack to loot a corpse and move over it, any gold on the corpse will be picked up. Isn't that exactly the same thing said twice? <laughs> Whatever. If you summon another elemental, they'll combine into a molecular, suggests Specklad in chat. Yeah, that, that seems likely. Okay, I guess that was easier than it ought to have been, so let's find somebody else to attack. Hey, you! Take that! I mean, like, why is it in red? It's- you said- you said hard enemies were in red! You said very hard enemies were in red! Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Couldn't have been easier. Whatever. <laughs> How does it judge? Who knows? Uh-oh, I'm gonna have multiple enemies at the same time. Okay, I'm actually taking some damage here. Can I regenerate harder? I mean, I the regeneration did seem to be regenerating me. And the shield seems possibly to be shielding me. Oh, you're still alive, okay. I'm gonna let the, uh, let my buddy distract you a bit. If I walk up, will you attack the buddy more than me? Can, 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 can you, like, attack the enemy, please? Wow! <laughs> Oh, this went away. Why did that go away? Why, why, why did, why did that, why did that go away? Why did that go away? Did I forget how to use a spell? <laughs> uh, that was the shield. What? Stay put. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Is it, what? Is it because I'm already shielded so I can't use it again, or? I'm- I'm really confused. Okay... <laughs> Slow, clumsy- oh, well, I am shielded, and I'm regenerating. I don't- okay, now those both don't show. Is it- 
I, do I have, like, a maximum number of invocations? Okay, yeah, now that, okay, now that's, okay, yeah, 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 that's in, okay, yep, 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 okay, yep, yep, it's, yeah, you can't use it while you're using it. Josh in chat suggested exactly that, Speclad in chat suggested maybe I ran out of charges, but now it looks like it's purely a mana system, no mix of mana and charges or anything like that. Take that, Dark Elf Skeleton! You don't threaten me in spite of your red threatening health bar! Oh, was that a level? I like levels. Maybe? What the hell do I know? Uh, is level shown here? Yeah! Level 2! So I have nothing I can do with that fact! Hey, there we go! Okay. Okay, so I can upgrade some things. I'm actually using a water elemental. I would like to upgrade fire elemental because that's sort of the obvious one. So up you go. Up you go. No. <laughs> oh, level required for upgrade. Okay, so. Ah, okay. So these I can upgrade even at level two. Those I can't. I see. I see. Uh, that's resist element. Okay, let's let's update the upgrade the ones I'm actually using. Fine. Let's let's look at the rest of this menu now. Quest log. Ugh. This is the quest log. <laughs> All quests you have been given can be viewed here. Tap a quest will be displayed. You tap the previous quest. Next. Okay. So this is what we have to do. We're tapping the talk button. You can view any narration and or. Okay. So it remembers how you got there. That's nice. It went from minor to lesser. Says Speclad. Uh, the spell name, presumably. I didn't notice. Uh, okay, so quest log is how I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Kill all Dark Elf skeletons. Is this my progress on the quest? Who knows? Oh, hello! This is the map window. Yes, I figured out how to use the map. Don't mock me. <laughs> uh, a map of the current zone is displayed. The name of the zone is displayed in the lower left-hand corner of the map, your position is indicated, blah, blah, blah. You can use the D-pad to scroll the map left and right. Can I not? Can I not? I really don't want to use the hardware buttons, but I can if I must. And it only scrolls left and right. Oh God, this is exactly why I didn't want to use the D-pad. Uh, okay. So great. <laughs> I, it, it said that I'm indicated on the map. I don't really see... Oh, there, okay. Very, very slightly flashing icon there. Gotcha. Uh, okay, thank you. I really want to figure out how to save. <laughs> like, that seems critically important. Maybe it saves always. <laughs> then maybe I'm being an idealist. <laughs> Speclad points out that a character basically just said, well, if you want some adventures, you can go and kill skeletons. And then my character was like, okay, that's my ultimate divine quest now. Let's just, uh, wander around the wall and kill anything I find. Orc pawn. Okay. Was not expecting to find orcs as well. This, this color thing seems to be BS. This co this whole concept of color being meaningful seems to just be a lie. <laughs> Great, thank you. Oh yeah, remember to loot. There we go. I should maybe check what I've looted. Absolutely nothing! <laughs> is that even my backpack? I think it is. Oh no, this is my backpack. Ah, quarter vial of health, quarter vial of mana, cloth pantalones. I guess I should, can wear some skeleton pants. Uh, bone chips, yum, yum. Wooden staff, wouldn't uh, refuse it. A shawl, sure, why not? I'm really glad that I can just uh, drag things up and I don't have to drag them to the right location. Oh, a rusty dagger, I'll take that. I can't equip it. No, I won't. That's why I chose in red. Okay, understood. Uh, let me get right into the corner here to scroll. No, scroll. No, scroll. Oh, there is no scrolling. Oh, I'm scrolled all the way right. Okay, okay, understood. Uh, well, at least I've actually used items. Uh, that, that seems to be on the, the path to victory for next time. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, I've got thousands more. Just click that channel button. Cheers from Y'all Weasel.